So it's pretty much been low-key confirmed by one of the Dragon Ball Super staffers that Goku is getting that new transformation, the one we saw in that poster. But we didn't really know if it was a new transformation, we just assumed it was. And it makes total sense, because how is Goku going to defeat Jiren with Super Saiyan Blue that Kale is challenging? That makes no sense. One of the biggest complaints I see in the Dragon Ball Super community amongst Goku fans specifically is, yo, Goku Super Saiyan Blue feels weak to me now. Android 17 is about to surpass Goku. Krillin is about, like, let's keep the jokes to a minimal, all right? But you get the point. Super Saiyan Blue starts to feel weak over time when Goku uses it time and time again against people that really should be nowhere near there, not even playing around with this dude in that form. So now you have a guy like Jiren, who's exploding another Saiyan from another universe that's competing with Goku in that god form, eating away at a Kamehameha like nothing. How is Goku going to give it to a guy like Jiren? He's going to need a transformation. There is no other way around it, and this is going to have to be a pretty big jump if he wants to win this fight. I still feel like a transformation shouldn't put him above Jiren, but you know the tournament of power. If people work together, even if one person's not enough, maybe two people will be enough. We knocked out five of the Pride Troopers in one episode. Who's to say that there won't be more members of Universe 7 than Universe 11 by the end of the Tournament of Power and they're just barely able to defeat Jiren? We still got Topo and Hit to deal with as well as a bunch of other warriors, but who's to say they won't fight each other and cancel each other out? Like, anything goes in the Tournament of Power, it's still pretty early. So apparently one of the dudes involved with the Super Project answered some questions on Twitter and he's actually pretty active, surprisingly. So a guy named JoJoAW22 asked the question, Quick question, will Goku have a new form? And this guy responds, it's a secret, but I'm expecting the birth of new form. That's humongous, guys. I mean, if that doesn't scream it's confirmed, then what else will, right? But then he follows that up with, I'm sorry, my English is not good. I'd like a new form, it means that. Uh, I'm still studying English, please forgive me. Now, I hope dude doesn't get fired, because that second response kind of screamed out to me that, like, he wasn't supposed to say it, but if he deletes it, then people will really be suspicious of why he said that. Because when he clarifies that he'd like a new form, when before he just said, I'm expecting a new form, the birth of a new form, it sounds kind of like he's trying to backtrack and say, like, Here's the new form, but uh, I don't really know if there's going to be a new form. It, it sounds suspicious, like he wasn't supposed to say it. So I'm really hoping, like, dude doesn't get fired and, like, there isn't an actual conference where the guys, like, basically tell everybody involved with the project, like, there are certain things you just can't talk about, like, until it's time and until, like, the previews come out. I'm hoping dude's not in trouble for this. But you could pretty much take this as a confirmation. Like, there's no other way around it. Like, dude accidentally confirmed the shit. You don't mistake expectation with liking something, right? Because those are two different things. One is like, you think it's gonna happen, and the other one's like, yeah, I kind of want this to happen. Like, those aren't things you usually conflate Although, I guess you could give him the benefit of the doubt. You, you could, but I'm just not. Next thing you know, this guy's been inactive for like two months and his Twitter account gets like shut down due to inactivity. You see on the news that he died from food poisoning. He ate like, you know, miso soup with tomatoes in it. The same type of shit Sabato was preparing for Mami Sakura in the last week's episode of Boruto. I don't know, guys. I just feel as if he backtracked for a reason. And whenever somebody backtracks, it's usually because... Whatever it is that they're backtracking from is pretty important. This transformation, this form, is very important. It's going to be the hallmark of the series. Goku's always been the image of Dragon Ball, and whatever transformation he gets represents him. So this is huge for the company, for everything. Now, a lot of people are saying that Goku's going to get a rage transformation because, you know, there's a lot to rage about in the Tournament of Power. And at the same time, there was a caption that read something terrible happening, you know, and we're talking about universes being destroyed. So this must be really bad, right? It could be that he fully mastered his God Key reserves. It could be a step beyond that. Like he's attained a next form of energy, a next form of of key, right? And I don't really know where you could go from God key, right? Like once you go from God key to something else, what are you going to name it? Like Satan key? Like honestly, I mean, I guess technically they could, right? Because if one is about peace and stability, maybe the other is about rage. Maybe the other, like maybe Goku just overall loses control and he just starts attacking 
everybody. One thing is somewhat likely to happen though, he's going to retain his base form appearance to some degree, meaning he's gonna keep his signature black hair, it's gonna be spiked up a little bit differently, right? I think he's gonna get maybe skinnier to some degree. I'm not saying he's gonna look like beers or nothing, right? He's not gonna like look like he ain't have food for 10 years, but he's gonna look like he's maybe, I guess, developed some more lean muscle. Hell, it could even have something to do with why Goku's been in base form or regular Super Saiyan for the longest time. It's almost like he's trying to get away from the God transformations. Like he doesn't wanna go red hair form or blue hair form. He's trying to stray away from that, right? And he's only using, oh, saving stamina as an excuse to kind of keep the cover. But really it's him trying to master and perfect something completely different. Let me know what you guys think in the comment. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think Toshio accidentally leaked out the confirmation for this transformation? What do you even expect this to be? And do you feel like it's time now that Super Saiyan Blue starts to feel weaker and weaker as the time goes on? And it makes sense because enemies keep getting stronger.